Hey folks, I'm always looking at my time on my videos because I never have enough <laughs> room to make videos on my phone. Uh, we, we ran a gunfighter clinic this past Memorial Day weekend and it was my pleasure instructing. What, what a phenomenal group of guys I had the pleasure to instruct. Very talented group of men. Um, and of course we dedicated that class to our fallen brothers uh, killed in action. Uh, whether we think about those who gave their lives at Lexington Green in 1775 on April 19th, all the way up to Helmand Province, Afghanistan. Um, in a special way, uh, we remembered Lance Corporal Sharp of 2-8, who was killed in action in Garmsford District in 2009. Um, the men that I served with, Lance Corporal Levy, uh, KIA, December of 2011, uh, Lance Corporal Carpenter, KIA, uh, February 2011, um, Staff Sergeant Dickinson, Corporal Rivera, and Lance Corporal Buckley, KIA, August 2012. Um, that's what Memorial Day is all about, and we never forget. Uh, we never forget that. Never forget them or the Gold Star families that uh, that still feel the pain, you know, every every Memorial Day and probably every single day. So I, I for one, am very grateful that I get uh, the chance to be with my family after coming home from two deployments um, to Afghanistan during the bloodiest years of that war. Uh, and I know there's. Man, I'm not special. There's a lot of guys out there who, who serve. There's a lot of men out there who've, who've certainly uh, uh, done more deployments than me and, and have, have sacrificed more than me. And uh, we, we're thankful for all, all the families that, uh, that have put up with, with being away from their loved ones. Okay, it's a sacrifice not a lot of people uh, think about. Okay, is the, the wife back home and the kids back home. Anyway, been rambling on here for almost three minutes. Haven't done any shooting. In the gunfighter clinic, we had makes and models from all across the spectrum. All across the spectrum. We had CZ. We had a lot of 1911s. We had Glock um, and uh, what else? We had Smith & Wesson M&P. Uh, all kinds of weapons there. No revolvers this time, but that's okay. Um, I don't recommend revolvers unless you are devastatingly handsome and you have enormous amounts of confidence. And I'll always say that, okay? It's an expert's gun. Uh, so, you know, why would anybody, and some somebody commented and said, you know, why the hell would you carry something like this? It's very archaic. It's almost like carrying a rotary phone in the age of cell phones, right? Well, I'll tell you, uh, I'm not out here to prove anything. I'm not out here uh, because I, I want people to think that one weapon system is better than the other. You have to choose what's right for you. You have to choose what feels good in your hand. And uh, for me, it is a double action revolver. And the fact is, millions of Americans still depend their lives on these weapons. So we need to train with them. And it's kind of like driving stick shift. Now a lot of people know how to run a wheel gun anymore. And I do my best to instruct those who want to learn how to do so. So one of the main reasons people will choose a Glock uh, semi-automatic pistol is because of the magazine capacity. I can carry 15 rounds versus six. It's actually a little more concealable. It's a lighter package and the rate of fire and the ease of speed reloading is faster. Well, I won't argue with any of that. I'm gonna prove that right now and show you the difference between a reload. Okay, Glock 19, Gen 4. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, use a sticky holster, keep your reloads weak side with a semi-automatic, bringing in your workspace, insert over the top, push, pull. Okay, we're gonna fire till we're dry, speed reload, and then one round, and let's see how fast we can do that. Here we go. Okay, pretty fast rate of fire. Um, no doubt, we'll put a big object into a big hole. Let's see how that compares to the revolver. All right, the combat magnum 
model 66-8 and a pretty worn out sticky rig. Okay, I, I do really like sticky holsters because it's a simplistic, minimalist approach. We're gonna fire till we're dry, speed, reload, fire one. Let's compare and see how that goes. Okay. Fumbled around in my pocket. I went down, I grabbed it, came out. <laughs> okay, with an L frame, the speed loaders are actually a lot easier to grab onto because they're bigger. That's it. So with the with an L frame, it's much faster for me. 